where I would be without this program? That is a great question. I would not have the opportunity today or I would not be where I am today were not for the Washington Center. I'd be in Florida back at the beach <laughs> instead of the, in a suit, but it, this opportunity has been incredible, you know? Bill and I were good friends. Uh, he actually came to me in 1974, uh, a year before he started the Washington Center to tell me about the idea and uh, asked me to join him. I thought it was a great idea, taking a semester or a summer during your undergraduate experience to really test drive your major, to work at a full-time internship in an entry-level position. And frankly, I wish that I had been able to do it when I was an undergraduate. So I was sold from day one. I think my dad took a lot of risks with the Washington Center. He, he came to Washington, D.C., not really knowing a, a ton about the program, but he knew what the mission was that, that Bill and Sheila Burke had created here. We were always underfunded. We never really had a lot of capital to start. And there were times when uh, Bill and Sheila and my wife Barbara and I loaned the center money to make payroll so that uh, staff payroll checks wouldn't bounce. Yeah. And I think truthfully he couldn't have made those decisions without the support of my mom. You know, they definitely sacrificed some things because they believed in the center and where it was headed and clearly that belief has paid off today. And uh, we just went about the work of m improving. We wanted to be better the next day. We had a mantra, let's be better tomorrow than we were today. Uh, and we fought hard and we worked hard and uh, I think we succeeded in uh, a lot of different areas. We were able, with a lot of help and a lot of support, to build our own residential and academic facility after literally trying to do that for over 30 years. I can't tell you how many people I have come across, people saying, your dad gave me a shot. Your dad gave me a second chance. If it wasn't for your dad, I wouldn't be here right now. And that, to me, is just mm -hmm. the most special thing, I think you know, a child could hear. If Mike were here right now, I would say thank you for everything you've done for the program. Uh, the alumni have benefited quite a bit for the passion and, and, and work that you've put into building this great program and ensuring that all the alumni that come from it are supported in their endeavors. Mike, thank you. You, thanks to your, your work, your efforts, your commitment, you have developed me, you have empowered me to become a better leader. He's persevered in leading the, the Washington Center for 40 years, and that takes a great deal to be able to do that. And he built this program to what it is today, and I'm really thankful because I got so much out of this program, and I wouldn't trade this experience for anything else. As he's retiring, you know, he's, he's not leaving the Washington Center. He might not be around as much. I'm sure he'll still pop his head in every now and again. <laughs> but he, it's family and he, he's not going anywhere. He'll be back. Congratulations on this incredible accomplishment. What an achievement, Dad, congratulations. 40 years at the Washington Center. Not many people can say that they're 40 years anywhere anymore these days, so that's a, a, one heck of an achievement and hats off to you, Dad. And we love you. We love you.